Okay, hey guys, it's YV. So today I'm sitting out in my backyard. We'll probably go inside at some point, but I wanted to start out our Q&A outside. I haven't done a Q&A on YouTube since I first made the channel, which was a long time ago. I think that was 2018. And since I have a lot of new subscribers recently, I thought it's a good time to answer some questions that I haven't answered before. So I asked on Instagram for you guys to ask me some Q&A questions and um, as you can see, I got a lot of questions. I obviously can't answer all of them. I wish I could, but I'm gonna try to answer as much as I can. I will make a list down below um, in my description to see what time code has which question. Because I usually like that when I watch other people's Q&A videos. Hey guys, so before we continue, I did get a lot of questions about skincare and I want to introduce you to a new skincare product I got. So thank you Amiro for sponsoring this video. This is Amiro's R1 Pro RF facial device that is great for anti-aging. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to use this product. They actually have their own serum. It's the Amira Hydrating Moisturizing Serum Gel. You're gonna need something like this, like a cream or serum or gel that you can put on your face while using the device. So as you can see, there are two modes here. One is EMS, which is for and lifting and then there is the anti-aging anti-wrinkle RF mode so right now you can see it's on the bottom wrinkle mode if you click it again it's gonna be on the EMS mode so you can choose whatever you want and the levels right now is at level 3 you can adjust it by clicking here so what you can do is you grab your serum gel and you can put it directly on your skin or you can put it right on here on the device so I'm gonna do that so they recommend starting from the inner corners of your face and then fading out, so like that. Slowly massaging your face, going from inner corner to out, and kind of spreading the gel as you go. It's very soothing and therapeutic as well at the end of the day. Now I've done it for the first half of my face and we're gonna move on to the other half of my face. Starting from the inner corner of my face, and just gently moving out. And for the forehead, you're gonna move up like that. You can also try the EMS mode by pressing this. So the EMS mode is the farming and lifting. So this feels a little different. When you do the EMS mode, you can kind of feel a little bit of tickling when you go across your face. The flat surface really helps go across the face. It glides very nicely. So of course I have a discount code for you guys. You can use my link down below in the description box. Click on it, then add the code CHENG to get 35% off before November 11th. After November 11th, it will be only 15% off, so try to get it before then. So that was Amira Aurum Pro. I'm so excited to incorporate this into my regular skincare routine. And now let's go back to the questions. Okay. Favorite restaurant in LA? I have so many favorite restaurants in LA. I couldn't pick one favorite one, but as you guys know, I love Korean food. I think right now it would be CD because it has the most options that I could get. And Herbert also likes it, so we can go together more often rather than me just enjoying it by myself. So I think it would have to be CD right now. Wedding planning advice. Um, I would say if you can afford it, then get a wedding planner. We originally weren't going to get one and then our venue required one. So we ended up getting one and now I'm so happy that I did because she is helping with so much of the stuff. I wouldn't have known half the stuff I had to do without her. So I would say, yeah, if you can afford it, then definitely get a wedding planner. If not, then start out long time in advance. We started out over a year in advance, um, especially because things book out quite quickly and you want to go to all the venues and see them for yourself and plan step by step. How do you get Louis to behave so well in your YouTube videos? I have a husky as well. Uh, so I got really lucky with Louis. So we had him since he was a puppy and he was always a pretty chill dog even as a puppy. Like he wasn't that crazy unlike other huskies. One thing that helped me with the barking, Louis doesn't bark a lot to begin with, but I taught him um, to do like when I say speak then he barks so he doesn't bark any other times he only does it like as a trick how has work been how's the new house been so work um, has been fine because I'm home I'm working from home so I haven't been really around the drama too much it's been okay and I think the guys are doing well so you know I'm just doing my job and the guys are doing their job trying to move along and the house has been amazing you know I'm so I feel so thankful to be here we're just decorating new things every day like now right now we're working on trying to put up string lights in the backyard I am editing without a recipe right now so 
we'll see how that goes. So far, so good. It hasn't been too tough and I can't wait for you guys to see it when it comes out in December. What inspired you to get into video editing as a career? So I did make a few videos long time ago. Um, if you look at my YouTube channel, I did make a few videos about my career and how I got to where I am. Basically, I always liked um, creative writing and storytelling when I was little and I thought I wanted to be a writer actually in the beginning. But I took video production in high school, which made me realize that was a lot like writing, storytelling, so I continued there. I went to film school, which helped me learn all the stuff. So that eventually, that made me realize I really liked video editing out of everything. So then that started my path. And when I was at BuzzFeed, I was like a video editing intern, then a fellow. So through that, I really built the professional part of it. That's where I met the Try Guys, and that's how all it started. What is one thing you miss most about Korea? The thing I love the most about Korea is the food, but in LA, there's so much Korean food that I can get that it's not the most thing I would miss. I guess it would be nice to see all my friends again. I saw them, I saw some of them last time I visited Korea, which was really nice. I haven't seen them over 10 years. What has been your favorite projects to work on? At Try Guys, I guess the bigger videos make it very special. I mean, I gotta say the No Recipe Road Trip was a special experience for me because again it was my first tv job it felt different than anything else i worked on just a bigger responsibility without a recipe is definitely something i'm very proud of even though during the editing portion it's very hard have you been to edc yes i have many times um you guys know i love music festivals so i've been to many many of them since i was 16. yeah i've been to almost all festivals you can think of that are usually electronic music and Coachella. I love festivals. What kind of culture shock have you and Herbert experienced in the US or each other's countries? Herbert, you wanna come over and answer that? I don't know if I have a US culture shock because I kind of grew up here. I've been here since I was 12, but when I did go to Germany to visit Herbert's family, there were some cultural differences there. I would say the biggest one is you have to pay for water. I don't like that, <laughs> so they, you know and they don't serve water for free in restaurants you have to pay for them and also public bathrooms are not free you have to pay with coins so those things i guess was the biggest culture shock for me culture shock mm -hmm. your biggest culture shock you experience in the u.s i guess the first time going to a restaurant and having to tip kind of oh yeah the tipping part yeah i guess both of us had a shock in a restaurant then huh I me with so. the water you with the tipping <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. let's actually move over to this side because now the sun is moving and now you can sit with me if you want. How do you de-stress? <laughs> Petting the pets, <laughs> that really helps. And sometimes shopping. I would say sleep. Mm. Sleep always resets me. Yeah. So I like to sleep when I'm stressed, I'd say. And also doing um, exercise. Like yeah, exercise. Either, either sleep or exercise. Skincare routine, please. So I actually just posted a nighttime skincare routine on my YouTube shorts. You can watch that. Also, my um, day in the life video has my skincare routine. You can check out there. But I do a lot of Korean skincare products. I love snail cream. That's probably my favorite. Um, so I have a lot of videos on it that you can watch. How do you handle giving equal attention to all your pets? I actually never had problem with that because all our pets have very different personalities. I feel like they have very different needs. Like Tyrion is a big cuddler at night. So she always comes at night to cuddle. We give the most attention to her then. But throughout the day, she just likes to sleep alone anyways. She's not a big like social person. <laughs> So that's easy. Coco is more like throughout the day, social, so we hang out with him a lot during the day. But at night, he likes to be by himself, kind of. And I don't even know where he sleeps. He just like goes away and comes back in the morning. And then Louis, like he also likes to sleep around most of the day. But we obviously walk him like a big walk um, once a day by the ocean or by our neighborhood. So he gets that. And I think all of them get equal amount of a lot of love. They're all different. They're not all of the three at the same time. Yeah. Like, mm, give me attention. Yeah. We got very lucky with very easygoing pets, I think. How do you feel about work? Isn't social life draining? Well, actually, my work is not that social because I sit at the computer all day. So I actually do like to have social life on the side. You know, either I get dinner with people or I go out on weekends. Well, your social life should shouldn't be draining then i guess it's mm. the wrong social life you're doing it should give you energy if 
you feel the pressure to do certain things and you don't want to, even if that's a social thing, you shouldn't, you know, put yourself first. How's the wedding prep going along? It's going very well. Again, we did have a planner, which helps a lot. Um, we got the big stuff down, like the venue, food, Who's DJ. Who's gonna get married? Do you want kids? If so, how many and when? P.S. Love you a lot. I love you too. <laughs> so I would want, I think, two kids, but I am definitely not ready yet. Nowhere near ready. Um, but when I am ready, I think one girl, one boy, or two girls would be great. How about you? Uh, two sounds good, but I don't want to plan it too much out. How are you feeling? I actually got a ton of questions asking how am I and thank you for asking. You know, you guys are so sweet. I am doing very well. Again, we have a wonderful home now, wonderful pets, so and great friends. So I don't know, everything is really good so far. The holidays are coming soon. I'm very excited to go see Herbert's family again and all that stuff. So it's very good. How are you, Herbert? I'm um, good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any tattoos or do you want any? I actually have two tattoos. I think I have one here under on my rib and I have... <laughs> I don't know how to show it. I have on my arm... <laughs> I have a cat and a dog tattoo here, which is Tyrion and Nui, and now I guess Coco also represents the cat. And I have a rib tattoo here that I actually made a video in BuzzFeed for. I got it with my best friend, a matching tattoo. So a lot of people ask, how do you first learn editing or when you're editing for the first time? I would say practicing is the best. Out of all the editing programs, I do think Premiere is, Adobe Premiere is one of the best and easiest programs to learn. Get your hands on a program and just start editing. Just download some stock footage or even some YouTube footage and start practicing. Look up tutorials on YouTube. You know, I always Googled like, okay, what's the shortcut key to cut, to select all like things like that. I think shortcut keys are the best way to learn editing fast, but really practice is how it makes it. Even when I had to learn Avid for No Recipe Road Trip, that's all I did. I just started editing right away. I looked up tutorials. It took me a long time the first week, but after the first week, I got a hang of it. So you just have to keep doing it. And I also got a lot of these questions. How did you guys know you are the one? How did you know Herver was the one? It did take me some time to realize like what love is really. But once I felt it, I felt like I knew. But for me specifically, it was like when I suddenly thought about, okay, what would I do without him? And then I was like, wow, I don't think I could imagine my life without him. And that's when I knew you. How did I know when Herbert was the one? When I oh. was the one. <laughs> How much time do we have? Not much. You need to be interested from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But then it like evolves, I would say. There's so many ups and downs in relationships and i feel like at some point when you uh, go through these ups and downs together you you learn how to trust each other all the other things if you don't get annoyed at the other person i think that's it's a really good sign and <laughs> yeah funny enough if you don't get annoyed by the other person it's a then, good sign. <laughs> well yeah and then also getting interested in it and challenged kind of because it's still like growing mm. how tall are you how tall do you think i am <laughs> I'm 5'4". <five four. laughs> Has Herbert ever been to Korea? No, he hasn't. But I do want to bring him there at some point. How long have you and Albert been together? <laughs> <It's> Albert. <laughs> we have been together since 2016. So... On the side? <laughs> yes, on the side. How did we meet? We actually have a video on that too. So I'll link that below in my description box. But we met at a bar, which is not, I guess, that special. We met at a college bar, but how it progressed is actually really cute because we had to deal with long distance for two years and visa and all that, all that foreign boyfriend problems. So what's the hardest and the most rewarding part about your job? Sitting through a ton of footage, because so sometimes it could be over 10 hours. It's a lot, so that's probably the hardest part. But when it's done and when people watch it and they like it, I think it's the most rewarding part. And I love it when 
viewers, the audience recognize the editing, you know, it's great when I see a comment saying like, wow, I love how this was edited or like great job to the editors. And that makes me very happy. Did your parents approve of Herbert immediately or did they want you to have a Korean boyfriend? They didn't necessarily want me to have a Korean boyfriend, but just like all parents, they were very not concerned, but they wanted me to be with the best person possible. So I would say in the beginning, they were definitely not like, oh, you can bring anyone home. But through time, I think Herbert proved himself to be a great boyfriend slash fiance now. So they love him now. If you're indeed getting married in German Castle, well, that's the goal, right? So we are having two weddings. We're just planning the LA one right now because that's sooner. Um, the German one we're planning on having a year later. So we haven't really gotten to planning it yet. But the goal is to get married in a German castle. What advice would you give to a 20-year-old female who is a little lost career-wise? Girl, if you watched my career video, I talked about this, but my first job wasn't a video editor. I actually got started out um, doing some data stuff, which I wasn't interested in. I didn't go to school for it, but that's just what I landed in after doing internships. And I could have continued there and made decent salary, but I did tell my I told my boss then I was like I don't know if I want to do this forever. Like I went to a film school, I want to do something more creative, and he told me, you know, you're still young. Like you can. I had a friend who was 30 and restarted his entire career because he wanted to. So I don't think it's ever too late for someone. Obviously, it has to be responsible enough that you can still support yourself. Um, but doing what you love is very important in your life to be happy so if you feel lost it's fine just find something that i was trying to give a deep advice here find something that you love and you can always get a restart don't be scared to start again because once you find something you love you'll move up so fast will there be a food baby equivalent content in the future Honestly, I can't tell you, you know, I think this year the guys are gonna just focus on um, their content and maybe next year I hope I can be in some more videos. I really don't know. For now, I'm just gonna focus on editing and doing my job and obviously continue my YouTube channel so you guys can see me on camera here. My hope is that yes, I will be in more videos in Try Guys um, and I think I will be. Just not as much like food babies, you know? But you'll see whenever now, maybe we'll come up with a different show. How do you balance everything? Work, friends, your own channel, etc. So definitely I schedule them all in advance. Like work is during the week, that's my main focus. I try to work out every day, which is a big part to, you know, kind of keeping everything together. And yeah, I try to do a lot of friend stuff on weekends, as well as my channel, working on my channel. If you had to pick a different career path, what would it be? In the alternate universe, I would have loved to try acting. I think that's so fun. I got to act in some videos in my career and I really loved it. So that's something I would love to have tried. Um, other than that, I do love teaching. So, and I can still do this in my future, maybe be a professor for editing. I would love that. I think that was a good amount of questions. Again, I haven't even gotten through half the questions. I'm so sorry. I wish I could answer most of them, but my throat is already starting to hurt from talking so much. So I think we're gonna end the Q&A here. Um, we will definitely do more, but let's say bye with Herbert quickly. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and being there for us. Thank you for asking how we are. You guys are so nice. And we will see you next time with another video. So, bye. Love you guys.